Is the thought of building a house overwhelming to you? Where do you start? How do you make it all happen? Is it even affordable? Well, we had those same questions and now we're kindly sharing the answers with you while we knock down and rebuild our family home. You missed a bit when you were shaving. There's two hairs there. <laughs> I'm the best wife ever. Well, once you've brushed your teeth, then you can keep playing with it. We'll put it, maybe you can take it for show and tell. Walk. <laughs> Walk. Teeth. Teeth. The rain has set in, the winds have been howling, and the swell has whipped up. For me, days in Bali are all about surfing, eating, and relaxing. So, I'm Liz, and... I'm Ryan. And even though Ryan is super awkward around cameras, we had such a journey with buying a family home that it's something I felt pretty passionately about sharing. Do you want to take your guitar for show and tell or just your harmonica? We missed out on two auctions. We missed out on two auctions um, in, a, in a different area and then we sort of reassessed what we wanted to do and um, it's probably been close to two years or if not a bit longer that we've been looking. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Good job, Finn. We got so frustrated that we were just having no luck finding an affordable four to five bedroom house. And I say four to five because I really want five bedrooms because I want three kids and he is two will do. I'm pretty happy with the two boys that we have at the moment. <laughs> so, so. Oh my gosh, we need more room. But ideally, if we could get a five bedroom house just in case, I'm in no hurry for a third, but just in case down the track, that would be great. Quick, first feet. Oh, Pajamas off. It's not playtime. Oh, you want the queen? Yeah. <sighs> Why did I even give you an option? How you give me butt, Mama? Does it fit him? Stop growing so fast, mate. Kit. Shorts now. Yeah, awesome, mate. We've been looking at four bedroom homes. Even they are borderline just out of our price range, so we've changed tack. Um, Ryan did a letterbox drop to all the old homes in the area we've been looking at, and um, you got a phone downs. call from one. Yeah, so I just um, put about 100 letters out and basically just explained that Liz and I were looking for a, a place in, um, in the area of all the houses that we were looking at, and um, if they were interested in selling off market to give us a call, and about two days after I did the drop, um, got a phone call. And this is the best case scenario because basically this gives us the opportunity to affordably buy a block, take the home down or take the home away and rebuild a five bedroom house. Get camera for that one. <laughs> I'm getting my third <laughs> bedroom for the kids. Um, at an affordable price, if it all goes ahead. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So that's our story. Finn's school bag, your school bag. Hooray! We're gonna go and meet Kelly. She is a new home advisor from Metricon. And she's gonna to come to the block with us and let us know if there's any red flags that she sees. So she'll be looking for things like easements on the plans, um, noise restrictions within the area, things that council might just I think the only issue, I don't, it's not an issue because I'm sure they've got options in terms of different houses that you can build, but because the block's only 10 metres wide. Is that quite small? It's pretty I'm not narrow. sure what that means. It's a narrow block, but they're all 405 blocks around here that are 10 metres wide, so. So how big are their houses? Will it fit? Yeah, they'll fit. They've got options for different size blocks. Five bedroom options? Only four. <laughs> Do they have five bedroom options? Yeah, they've got Possibly. <laughs> do you really only want two kids? Is that still your hashtag two will do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna find myself a new husband. 
go keep the house. <laughs> Louis <laughs> just went awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee? Sure. So you get to see the place. Oh my gosh. It's the weirdest feeling ever because I'm really excited to see the house that we've bought. But it's not even about the house, which is why I didn't even have to see it when we made the offer. It's, it's just about the block of land. You ready to see this? Yes. Is that it there? That's it. Oh my gosh! It doesn't look that bad at all. No, it's livable. Oh, I'm so excited to see the block. All right, let's all go right. hear what Mitch kind of have to say. Hello. Hey. Thanks for meeting with us yeah, today. Ryan, how are you? Good, thanks. Yeah, it's your new home advisors around the back. Hey, I'll go and have a chat. Meet you around there in a sec. Yep. So, what's your role? Uh, I'm the site manager, so today I'm here to do a, uh, a pre-site start uh, inspection. This is my first time seeing the property, which is yeah. bizarre seeing we've already put an offer in. Okay. Um, any red flags, anything you've noticed that we should look out for? Uh, look, um, everything looks pretty good, but you do have uh, some asbestos in the home, mm -hmm. on the fence, uh, a tree out the back, so just a few things to look out for. Uh, but the professionals take care of that. So yeah. do you basically prepare a report that then goes back to the client telling them yes. anything like easements or...? Exactly, yeah. So my job here today is to find out, you know, where the sewer is, where the stormwater is going to drain, will we have any problems, is there any walls on the boundary or over the boundary, uh, and just to do it, just a general inspection. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's been a real treat to turn up while you're here today. Yeah. We are so new to this, so yeah. if you notice anything or have any suggestions, sure please let us know. Okay. Even in terms about how we can make the uh, home more comfortable from a builder's point of view, because we are so far from builders ourselves. The demolition, we would look at installing fencing, yes. pool, yes. and then Metricon come in with the slab? And Metricon would come in and commence works from there. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's exactly like that. All right, exactly, yeah. I got to start yeah, looking at pools. Yeah, yeah, definitely look at pools, fencing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everything heavy at the back, I would yep. suggest to get, get it uh, done early. straight after demolition. Um, I've just noticed this tree, oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, it may pose an issue with the, the slab if, okay. if, if you did want to keep it, but we could get our engineers to have a look into that. To be honest, they look beautiful, but they are very problematic, their roots. Okay. They will, uh, they will lift concrete even. Oh, know. really? Yeah, their root systems are very strong. Hello, you must be Kelly. Hi, nice Kelly. to meet you. Nice to meet you. You've been giving well. Ryan a bit of a rundown. I have. Got As a new home advisor, Kel, what is your role and what can we expect with you and what do we interact with you for? Yeah. All right, so a lot of the pre-planning work happens with the new home advisor, um, with myself. Um, first step is we make sure that the house sits on the block of land. We do some searches on your property to get a better understanding of the block, its location, um, zoning and overlays. So things like, um, are we on a main road? Do we have to worry about acoustics? Are there any easements on the property where we can't build? Um, orientation, how's the best way to position the house? Um, from there, we can then work on some costings for you. So we're looking at the house design, look at the options that are important to you in your home, um, look at some of the non-negotiables like our site considerations and our council requirements, put that all together to present you with a sales estimate that we can review prior to you investing any money or getting the process underway. So, And are there any fees in that process? Or? No, we just want to make sure that we're getting the right fit and for you to get a complete picture before we start doing any That's so work. awesome. Is there anything else that you can see that we'd want to keep through the demolition? Because I'd be happy to repot some of these plants so we can save them, especially that frangipani. Uh, the shed would go. I think Maybe the we shed can sell will that go. We could probably tree. sell the shed. Daryl said that he can leave the doghouse for really? us. Really? Yeah. Oh, so. cute. Little home for bear. Yeah. Actually, what am I talking about? Your second home. <laughs> when you're in the doghouse, right? <laughs> So is there anything else you want to ask? Because once again, I've done all the talking. I think you've covered everything. So yeah, thanks happy very life, much. Happy yeah. life, happy life, Ryan. That's, that's what yep. they say. <laughs> yep. That's exactly right. <laughs> Join us next time on Knockdown Rebuild. Guess what? We've put an offer on a house. New house. Yeah. Excuse? We thanks. just bought a house. We did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>